Good morning. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the feasts in honor of the cheer of St. Peter. The chair of St. Peter is a symbol of our unity with the Church of Rome under the authority and leadership of the Pope. Jesus gave the keys of heaven to Peter and to his successors. So today the Church is inviting us to meditate on the teaching authority of Rome. Let us ask God to give us the grace to continue to be union with the Pope as he shepherds his church. And so before we continue with this Mass, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to hear the contrary of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempest may disturb us, for you have set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter, Peter's confession of faith, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the suffering of Christ and one who has a share in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint but willingly. As God would have it, not for simple profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be example to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfeeling crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pasture he gives repose. Besides restful waters he leads me. He represses my soul. Even though I walk in the val dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Lord, 
You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness for me follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is not you I shall walk. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we honor St. Peter, and more specifically, the leadership of Peter as described in the Gospel and elaborated by Peter himself in the first reading. Peter was given the authority to lead the church. And after the death and resurrection of Christ, Peter was the first pope of the church. And so today we celebrate the feast of the cheer of St. Peter. The cheer, not necessarily a physical cheer, but we celebrate the role he played as a leader in the church and his authority that has been passed down to the popes to this day. So when we celebrate the chair of St. Peter, we are celebrating our unity, our loyalty, and our togetherness with the pope as the leader of the Christian world. Today, Jesus asked, his disciples, who do people say I am? You know, at that time, people did not understand the authentic identity of Christ, and so they had different views. Some of the Pharisees said he is just another Elijah. Some say he is Moses. Others say he is Jeremiah that has come and gone. And then Jesus asked his disciples, the 12 of them, the apostles who were together with him every day, every night, who do you say I am? It was this Peter that the Spirit of God ministered to him that made him speak by saying, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. At that point, Jesus said, you are Peter, upon your rock I'll build my church. I'll give you the keys of the gates of heaven. Whatever you bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. That was the beginning authority of Peter. And that authority has been passed down to the Pope and to his successors. So we remember that cheer today, that authority that has kept the church to this day. Of course, the church does not belong to the Pope. The church belongs to Jesus. 
The Pope is only leading the church for Christ. And that is why, with all the atrocities, the persecutions, and everything that has gone through the church, the church is still standing. It is because it is not a human institution. It is an institution established by Christ Jesus himself. And so today we remember the Pope and we pray for God to continue to sustain him in his ministry as chief shepherd of the Catholic Church. And we too, we need to identify who Christ is for us because Jesus is asking us, who do you say I am? Some of you may say Jesus is the healer because maybe when you were sick, you prayed that you got healed. Some of you may say Jesus is the provider. Maybe when you were in want, you prayed and you got your, your, your needs. Some of us may say Jesus is our vocation bringer. It depends on the experience you have had with Christ. But basically, who is Christ for you? Christ is the Savior of the world and is our Savior. Let us ask him today to help us to believe in him, to be of service to him, especially as we honor the chair of St. Peter, the Pope who sits on that chair represents Christ. May we honor Christ in the person of our Holy Father. May we also ask God to give us the grace to follow his will and to do his will. Amen. Let us rise and pray. Let us bring our prayers and petitions to God our Father, trusting that he will receive them. We pray for all of us gathered here this morning. Almighty God, our Father, as we come before your throne of mercy, we ask you to give us the grace to constantly believe in you, to follow you, and to lead a life of Christian charity. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. We pray in a special will for Father Amos Machi, who celebrates his birthday today. We pray that you, O Lord, will grant Amos good health of mind and body to continue to serve you and your people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died, especially for Carmen, Alonso, Hernandez, and for Reverend Didaku Sma, whom this master suffered for, that you, God, will grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. God, our Father, these are the prayers we bring before you. We believe that you will receive them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and the works of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine and the works of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual dream. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray, the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to the eternal inheritance 
for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in its integrity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts to pray by sending down your spirit upon them that they do for, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church prayer throughout the world and bring out to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are falling asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Now the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased with throughout the ages, who may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let's read to everybody. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are all of us who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. The body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration of the feast day of the blessed Apostle Peter, have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go with peace, the Mass is ended. Have a nice day, everybody. Thank you.